Hi guys, here I am. So let's see. So I'm just waiting for you to come to arrive and uh and then we will uh and then we will do our life sketching. live sketching tutorial hey there is someone there already that's good two people great hi guys ciao so can you hear me well let's put this light a little bit lower okay so it's easy afterward hi hi Fetty how you doing hi guys happy to be back so as you noticed I have changed my the title of those uh, type of uh, tutorials like tutorials so they are gonna be called car sketching tutorial P means part, and today it's part 10. It's already 10, 10 times that we're going live together to do something together. Most, mostly to have fun, okay? Because we sketch together, we have fun. Okay, so it looks like uh, you can uh, hear me well. This is good. Uh, please, can you tell me if I am yelling? Because some of you wrote to me and said, you know what, your, uh, the sound, the, the video are nice, but the sound is uh, too, too loud. So please tell me if now you can hear me well. Yes, I hear well. That's good, Fetty. Thank you very much for your feedback. So it, it's important because I have also to control myself. <laughs> Sometimes I don't realize. Besides, I'm Italian and Italians <laughs> tend to yell a little bit. So by nature. Okay, so just waiting for people. Now we are 11. Sound is perfect. That's very good, Sagar. Thank you very much. So uh, let's see when we will be around 15 as usually. Hi, Bogdan. How you doing? Welcome back. So now we are 12. Let's wait just a little bit so that uh, we get a little bit more people. Then I will show you something. And and, and then uh, we will start, we'll start sketching again, of course. And uh, I guess this time I would use some marker, some markers again, all right? I think that you're gonna be happy if I'll use some markers. So how was your weekend? Yeah, that's good, Bogdan, that you're working on your portfolio. That's good, so that uh, uh, I hope that what we will do today will be useful for you doing some 3D modeling. All right. Are you using what type of software are you using? I hope you're using Alias because that's the only really good one so far. Hello. Ciao, Marcin. How you doing? So we are 15. I guess we can start. And then the others will just... Uh, stick to what we do so you know what i'm gonna show you this so everybody saw this right weekend was good i gave interest test from admission transportation college in india all right that's very good news uh sagar i hope you will be that you will get uh, your admission so this is the sketch I've done last, uh, this weekend, because I was just uh, having fun by myself. I have a nice, uh, I have a Mac, so I use Blender. Okay, Blender is not bad. In UK, I understand. I understand. So this is the sketch I've done, I guess, was Friday night or Saturday night. I don't even remember. Anyway, I told myself, this is a nice back view. You can see. It's a beautiful perspective, very dynamic. Also the type of uh, composition on page going up here 
with the, 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 our uh, cast shadow background that is going horizontal. So we have uh, something that is kind of uh, giving stable or balanced uh, feeling. And then we have the subject that is like flying out. And this is nice because that makes the composition very dynamic. All right. So you know what I was thinking? We could do this one. I can retrace this. Okay, if you want, maybe we'll apply a few modifications. Then I will get uh, some markers, few markers, and we can try to give it some color, some shading. What do you think? Do you like the idea of today? And my weekend was a sport, sports weekend. Formula One, fantastic. Then uh, Moto GP, fantastic. Poor Valentino, Marquez. I'm sorry, but Marquez, he really should go and learn again uh, how to how to drive a moto without uh, <laughs> bumping everybody's out of the track. And then, uh, of course, some nice uh, food, soccer, soccer games that I saw on TV. Uh, I've seen transportation design from Coventry University or some other university outside India. That, that's good. That sounds like a very good plan, Sagar. Okay, so you know what? Now be patient one minute because I have this uh, structural stuff to hold my telephone. So I will do this uh, manipulation and you be patient. Prepare your paper stuff, okay? All right, let's try without uh, it, it's gonna look like an earthquake <laughs> let's see if i'm able to do this faster than the other time okay so now i will take this off because i don't need that and then i will try i will try to orientate my camera so that you guys can see Okay, wait. Okay. Let's wait a while that it, it start make it become stable. Once it becomes stable, then it's fine. Now I'll try to fix the paper so that uh, you can see why well, it looks not so bad. What do you think? Tell me if you can see well. So that I feel, uh, I feel good. <laughs> All right, I will use a blue, blue, blue soft pencil this time. Okay, it's this one. Looks good. All right, Fetty, thank you very much. I will just move a little bit the page. I'm a little bit uh, in an awkward position, but I think that uh, I think it's gonna. If you don't see me anymore, please write again a message right away, because I have my internet at home that is not uh, really super fast and sometimes there is a video frozen image so i panic a little bit i don't know whether you are there or not but now it looks like it's working so okay so looks clear you see the transparency can you can you see the transparency all right so that's basically uh, one thing that you should uh, take as a habit at home is the same thing. You do a sketch, even if the sketch looks good, and then you trace it again. You put it underneath, you can move your paper the way you feel more comfortable with your arm, okay, your pencil, and then you trace it again. And every time you trace it, you know that your perspective and everything will be fine. You can change the design, and that's how we make at work, but also at school, how we make uh, design modifications or design alternatives. And this is a good practice. Okay? Dispositive. Okay, good. So, now what I'm going to do, I will start sketching, okay? Tracing the wheels, right? My base. So this is uh, basically the shape. And let's see what 
what I can what can I do to make this a look better? First of all, maybe I can make it a little bit wider. Okay? So, I'll try to make it wider. I'll do just a basic shape now so that I can uh, have a feeling, of course, as usually I do, of what I'm doing, okay? my my bracelet that makes this uh, yeah really help a lot uh, to keep it up all right good so I make it a little bit uh, wider as we said okay and now let's see if for example we make it the the rear a little bit higher okay so if i do that and i do this and I take my center line and I repeat the same section I try to do over there on the side. Now you can see that we are starting to, to make a different car than the one it was before. After we will see the difference between the two, of course, to see whether this technique of changing it really worked or not. Then I would like to make the side fenders a little bit uh, wider. Okay, so I do there here too. Can you see? Can you start seeing that the car, the car gets uh, is starting to get something different in terms of of what it was before. Before it was more structured car, very aerodynamic, and now we are trying to make it a little bit more muscle car. Okay. So this one is too straight. Let's make it a little bit, uh, I don't know, we can make it like a point. Why not? And this one, and the bottom part also. Can you see? It looks nice. It's a little bit American design. Ciao Omkar, how you doing? Welcome back with us. 23 people connected, that's very nice. So you see, this is interesting. It's starting to come out something interesting. Okay, but now that I did this, I want to make sure that uh, here, I also have a let's let's do this for the moment okay let's try to have a, a side window and this one I want to make it a little bit lower because it was a little bit too high let's make it more aggressive So, uh, if I do this line, if this line, I make it a little bit uh, different than this one, of course I have to make a correction here. So, first of all, always have the, the idea of where is your perspective lines, okay, where are your perspective lines, okay? Oops, okay. So, now I can just take this point also, okay, more or less is there.
and then I make the center line, which is going to be here now. Can you see it? I prepare my, my point. I have to sharpen my point. Hi, Govin, from Torino. All right, that's cool. 26 people today. Fantastico. Grazie, ragazzi. I do a little bit like that so you can see better. Okay, so now the front windshield we're gonna make it really kind of round, okay, like that. You see, and now because the car is becoming like that, I, I imagine that if I have a, a very muscle car in the back, in, in the back area, which means uh, I just want to make a little element here because I think that you're gonna like that a lot. Okay, so now, I do that, this one goes here, and you know what, in the back we're going to do something all, a little bit like the Ferraris and Lamborghinis, you know, imagine that we have a, an engine here, so we can take this going down, because in reality, we can see the engine, Can you see? Hey Elmar, first of all, I'm not a dude. <laughs> I don't have the age to be a dude, as you say. Second, about the streaming, I'm sorry, if you don't have a good quality streaming, I don't know what to say. Ciao Luang Ayash, how are you? All right, so let's continue. And now, okay. So I'm trying to put, to make it a little bit around here, you see? Here we have a, like a big bubble area, like that. And this one is going to be smaller, of course. So this is a and long, small. And here, I would like also to do a little bit of graphics, just a little bit. Okay. So now we see the car, you see? I'll try to, to make sure that you can see it. Thank you, Elmar, thank you. You know, I cannot, I cannot push, I cannot sketch uh, with a really super modern creativity 
for two reasons. First of all, because I don't want to be, I don't want to run the risk that I, I sketch stuff that I see at work, of course. This is always the big risk. And second, it's because I don't have the age anymore. <laughs> so, and this is a really a, an opportunity for you and for me to sketch together so that you use your creativity. That's most important to me and also to you. Okay, so now what we're going to do? Now that I have this, Here I'll make just a little, you know, this is a little bit of a kick. This is like a little spoiler area here, like a little kick. Okay, so now let's already compare the two. You see, they are very different. Uh, how can I do to show both of them like that? Can you see? Wait, I make it a little bit uh, lower, maybe this way it's better. Okay, so this one is uh, the one I did uh, yeah, uh, two days ago. And uh, this one uh, is the one I'm, we are doing together now. And we can see that there is big differences. You know, the attitude of the car is really different. This one is a muscle, almost elegant car, lower, and this one is higher, I would say four people, and this one became two people car, you see, this one, is, I can say two people car, mid-engine, with, uh, with a short nose, and some really nice muscle sections. Okay, so we take this, we put it aside. And now we concentrate a little bit on this one just to do a little bit extra work so that I can show you how we can nail down a very quickly a sketch. Very quickly. A little bit of transparency. You see, the little bit of transparency helps to understand the, the, overall, the overall proportions. That's nice. And now I will do a little bit of graphics in the back here, just a little bit, maybe here, okay? And then I will draw a few lines of reflections. Then once I do this, I will get a marker. Of course, we start with a very light gray marker. And we start hitting a little bit to make sure that we can start seeing a little bit of the volume, the shaping. All right, so if I have this, let's do the classical thing that I like, like this and like that. All right, so this is after I will put some color here, don't worry. And here, we can say that we have a something like that. Okay. So this is a now we're gonna put just one door. Of course, you know this is a little bit cook cook bottle, you know, classical American uh, American way of uh, of doing cars, the cook bottle, sports cars. Okay, we just put a very quick, very fast. Uh,
And here you can imagine that in the back there is a little bit of 3D effect because we have the engine here, you know. I don't know, you can imagine elements that are in the back there. Okay, so. Now, don't forget that uh, when we put those reflections, we already talk about that, okay? So you know already. Okay, so you know, uh, sir, what is the Italian way of doing car designing? Aditya Munde, uh, you, uh, you are asking me something that is a little bit difficult to explain because uh, that we had a, a great Italian design that has ruled for about 20, 30 years, I would say, or even more. But today it's really international design. You know, Italians study like me uh, in uh, Ciao Aditya, <laughs> che bella, <laughs> how you doing? in Torino, Aditya, from Design Academy India. Uh, the Italian design today, I would say that uh, it's uh, more an international design. I'm an Italian that studied it, not in Italy, but uh, in, uh, in a foreign country. And there are a lot of other Italians that are doing the same thing. Just like uh, many foreign people that don't study in their own design, in their own country, but they study, but they study in uh, in uh, foreign countries and if you go and check for design studios you will see that uh, all the design studios are multicultural this means that there are always generally five from five to ten uh, countries represented so when you have so many people from different cultures doing car design at different design schools how can we talk about the Itali pure Italian design today I would say that the pure Italian design of the, of the 70s, the 60s, the, the gold, golden age uh, of the Pininfarina period, uh, Giugiaro, Bertone, that is something that I guess will never come back. But it's true that Italians, like me, we have a tendency of doing things that are simpler, more simple, not so complicated, you know. Uh, and, and I would say elegance, simplicity, and also functionalities, because we like when things work and not, and not just styling. Okay, I hope that I gave... Uh... Hey guys, look what I bought. This is the surprise for today. Because with this we're going to do some interesting effects on, on the lights, you know? Those are... Uh... Those are uh, those fluorescent type of uh, underliner, okay? And they and they made a new format, so I bought it because after we're gonna have fun with that. Now, I use marker, so what do I do first? I take a page and of course, don't forget, I check two things. I check how it's bleeding and also the type of uh, tone value. I, we want to start with something that is very light at the beginning. Helmar, hey Luciano, how about the next time to try to stream in Twitch TV? What do you think about this? I don't... Helmar, I'm sorry, I don't know. What the hell is Twitch TV? Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Yes, why not? <laughs> okay, so now this is a very light uh, pale blue, okay? It's almost light. So I will hit this on top because it's gonna be like the sky, okay? This is gonna be like the sky, uh, light uh, color on top of the car, okay? Then we have a cool light from here and warm light from here, okay? Imagine that in front of the car here, we have the sunshine and in the back uh, it's cold because the, the sun is on this side, all right? I think this is clear for everybody. Okay, so, Let's see what the hell I do. So I start from the windshield because what I need, I have to find the right stroke, the right movement, not to make a mistake. Because if I do like that, it's fucked up. Okay? And we don't want to do that. 
Good to see you in action, Luciano. Hey, Nikhil! This is uh, Nikhil Sorte. This is the number two design academy, India, 2017. Ciao, Nikhil. Pleasure to have you with us. Okay, so let's do it. All right. Now, you see, it's kind of a little heavy compared to this. So we let it dry, okay? And I'll try to be, to hear it much lighter, okay? Like that. You see? Look, I'm doing the, the shading now. You see, if I don't touch anymore, if I don't touch this anymore, we already see that the car is going 3D. Ciao, Nikhil. Ciao. You see? Wow, we are 30 people now. That's great. Stick with us. And uh, I will use the same marker a little bit to hit here. Okay. So, now that I did this, I'm searching for, for um, a gray number one, which is this one. Let's see. Okay. And I hit the top because I want to make the top a little bit darker and colder. That's why I'm using a number one cool gray. And then I'm using it also here. Then I use uh, a dark gray because I want to do the reflection, the reflection on the glass. And before doing that, before doing that, I might use this darker blue. Okay, here, look what I do. So this is a, a medium tone number five uh, process process blue. Of course, I always try, you see, I always try to follow, to follow the lines, uh, the perspective. I never try to do a line that is not following the flow, the overall sketch. When I can buy this type of marker, Fabio Rusty, Fabio, you go in any art store and you ask for markers. That's all you have to do. Come on, guy. It's simple. Any art store. Okay, art store that has a lot of stuff for artists, okay, paint, gouache, oil painting, uh, pe color pencils. And now I do the same thing here. Now, remember that uh, we always do a little bit of... Uh, you see? That's nice. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. So, and I keep the, the, the colors that I use, I keep them on the left because I, I want to have control. 
I know what's going on and I know which one I have to pick just in case I want to make some stuff darker. May I know where your next slide would be? Anush, every Monday and every Wednesday at this time, 6.30 p.m. We always gonna sketch something together. Ciao, Mohamed. No, Amazon, no, I don't even know how to do. Don't complicate my life. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I want to hit a little bit uh, more and I just let the marker to dry, okay? We want this to be really dry. And I hit a little bit more the reflection, okay? And this time I'm using a cool gray number six, okay? And I will add this cool gray on the blue reflection on the glass. And of course, don't forget, as we always said, we do dark light, dark light, contrast area, white dark. You know, those are the theory of reflections, all right? You welcome, Manush, you welcome. Okay, so let's try. Let's see if I'm able to do it. Okay? Okay, I'll just do that. Now I let it dry, and once it is dry, I go back with the blue because I want to take care a little bit better of this shading effect, okay, in that area, and a little bit here too. But first, let it dry. All right, this is a nice way to let it dry. <laughs> okay, good. So when we want to make sure that it's dry, we put our hand, clean, clean hand, we do this. If it's not fresh, which means uh, normal temperature, then it's dry. If it's fresh on your palm or your hand, then it is not dry yet, because this, the alcohol is coming out, okay? So, now I go back with the dark blue, okay, and I hit the last part, just the last part. And I do the same thing here. I do not, uh, I do not touch this clear line, blue against the, because this looks like a nice reflection. Same thing here, you see? Now I will show you a little bit closer. I hope you can see it well. Okay, so do you see, there is a shading between dark and light uh, using the two colors, the light, the three colors, the super light blue, the medium uh, darker blue, and we're using also a tone value six gray. So the objective is always to make, you know, to make something that is uh, dark, light, dark, light, you know, contrast, I'll show you after, okay, contrast, dark, light, dark, can you see, this is the main rule, so when you see this, you understand, you know, this is what we try to do always, you see, now, if I take this rule, very basic rule, and I apply it here, and of course, you see, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, and then here we have a contrast. This is glass, so we're going to add, after, a little bit of core to make it round, okay? 
But that's the same thing we are doing here. Dark light. Now, what I'm going to do here on the top, I'm going to make this a little bit darker. And I'll do it with this one. I don't want to use... Uh, I'm not using the, the darker blue, okay? This one, no, it's only for the glass. I am using, the again, the same pale lime, light blue color, okay? And I, I hit on the top, why? Because I want to try... I try to make this uh, shading, okay, dark light, so I don't go on, on at the bottom, I just keep working the top. Now I'm going to show you closer. Do you see this, uh, this line here? This is a typical reflection that we make when we show that the, the body of the car is a little bit coming out, popping out, and then we have the fender. Now I'm going to draw a little section here to, to show you that. First I make the point on my, on my pencil. So this is, it's almost like that, look. Can you see the section? You see? Now it's clear what I'm trying to do. I could even go with my pencil and just make a little correction here. You see? If I do that... You see, now it's even better. Look how nice. Now it's really clear. The thing is popping out. Okay, this is the type of things that you, ha that you have to think when you sketch, you see? Because there you learn a lot of things. And then you draw the little section in there. It's just a quick sketch for yourself. But it helps you, helps you to understand how you have to apply this method. And now you have to stick to that method to have full control of what you do. Okay. All right, now that we did this, I want to put a little bit of shading on, uh, at the bottom, I mean on the ground. And to do that, we want to go, we want to hit with something, uh, with something strong. But before I want to check one thing. Yeah, this one. Let's see. I'm using a, a very cold, uh, just for the top, okay? A very cold uh, violet. Do you see how cold it became the top of the car? It's really cold now with that light violet. Can you once teach how to go on with an open top car? Next video. Yeah, I will try to do that. That's very complicated, uh, Mohammed, because of course you have to do the whole interior. But next time we will, uh, we will do it. We'll do something really well. Sto disegnando anche io con te. Grazie per tenermi compagnia. Fabio, thanks for your company. We are all very happy that you are with us sketching with us great 
Fabio, you are from uh, from Torino also? I forgot, sorry. Okay, so now that I did this, we want to do, uh, we, we need a, a very dark, so I have to search for my black. I have a gray number eight, no, we need a black. This is number 10, no, I need a black. Yeah, black, extra black, the really heavy stuff. Okay, so now the extra black, I will put it here, for example. And why do I do put it here? Because I want to make, as we said, the the high contrast. You know, this is a okay. Now I'll show you. It's drying. I'm show. I'm showing you closer how that reflection looks now. Wait, I do this so that you can see better, because the light is hitting very strong. Si sono in Torino, sono tra i ragazzi del liceo, dovevo fare lezione allo IAD con i ragazzi una volta settimana. All right, Fabio, that's very good. Bravo. Work hard. So, uh, how old are you? Quanti anni hai tu, Fabio? 17, 16, 18? Facce sapere. And now I will do the same thing on the top here. You see? Then don't worry, I'm gonna use the black pencil and I'm gonna make a real nice shading in those areas where we still see some strokes. So that we can really do some nice stuff. All right, so now that I will just do this. Now look, just go very fast. Okay. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to block him. Do you see, I always leave a little bit, a little white outline around. And now I go with the vertical strokes, okay? Try to be, try to be very... Then I take uh, my gray number six again. Voglio andare a double diploma. Eh, Fabio, that's a very, 17, ok, quasi 18. Quello è in inglese. Bene, scrivo in italiano solo per fare veloce. Scusi, ok, ok, Fabio, then it's good. Because uh, 18 years old, this is the right time to start uh, to go to school, to design school. Especially today. It's not like in my time that was different. So 
So it looks like you have a very good plan, and that, and I'm very glad about that because a lot of people always ask me, how do I do? How do I do? It looks like they don't understand, they don't know. And uh, to me, it's so uh, it's okay. okay. To, for me, it's too easy, but I understand because I am in the business. But but what I want to say is that uh, today, if you want to become a car designer, you need a design school. That's what I always keep on saying to everybody. Okay, good. So now we have this, okay. You see, it's not bad. Do you like what I'm doing? What we are doing together so far? Okay, so now what do I do? I will use my pencil to make some shading, okay? Because I want to make sure that uh, before putting some uh, warm color, because we need still the warm color coming from here, I, I, I can add a little bit of shading so that we have the really the 3D of the car, okay? So, first of all, windshield, all right? You see the shading, look. I'm making it always darker, hitting always darker, always darker. You see, I come back always from the, the core. This is the core area. I go there and I hit again, and then I go to zero. Okay, now the top. Now this one will be a little bit lighter, of course, because the light is coming from here. So I'm not gonna exaggerate there, all right? And here I make it a little bit darker because of course we said that this area it's going inside. You see? Okay, and now Okay. Now I do the same thing here just a little, okay? just a little to make sure that I have this uh, spheric, spherical feeling and then I would like to add a little bit of uh, I would like to add also a little bit some reflection line, lines, okay? Because unless if we don't do reflection lines, what the hell? You know, we need that, because that's uh, the glossy stuff, you know? If, uh, love it. Thank you, Martin. Okay, so let's do some reflection lines, okay? I'll try. Okay, I show you. Look, look that effect. That's nice. You see those little things a little bit darker that they are they are going always with a shading effect always. And that's the nice stuff because there you can see the liquid, the liquid uh, reflections. So I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna do this a little bit better. Now, we have the lines here, okay, that we put before. I just hit a little bit that too. So it, it's like I'm giving life to it.
You know, you got a lot to do this. Unless it doesn't come out. Now I'm having a real lot of fun. And you have to feel the same. You see, I show you what I'm doing. Look at that. Does it look nice? Those are reflections. Ciao, man. Hola. Okay, I do again my... But don't worry, because it's not finished yet here. Because now that uh, we do this, I, I try to complete those reflections to make sure that uh, they look nice. Okay. So now I'm cleaning up lines, you see? I'm just cleaning up lines. Because of course the, the marker always, uh, it, it gives a little bit of this, uh, won't you draw the outline of the door? I will do this after. I just put a very rough line here. Check, Mohammed. there is a light line around here. Once I finished everything, then the last thing I will put the light, the light uh, uh, outline of the door so that it comes out clean. Okay, so now. I'll do a little bit of shading on the glass area, okay? We need that. We must have that. Very light. It is dark on the core, of course, always, okay? As we did on, on windshield. And then it starts shading very light, very quickly. Because we have all the light of the sun coming from here. Then I do this here. And now, what we need to do, we need some uh, warm some warm color okay so now i was uh, i'm looking for a yellow to see if i find an orange yellow or something like that or similar kind of light like this one for example it looks like it's too strong this one so it's not the right one I think we have to do like the other time. We're gonna use. Uh, we're going to use this. Uh, what is it? Yeah, this one. This one looks really nice. This one. This color. 
So I use this orange, okay? It's a soft pencil, orange. And orange and blue and light blue go very well together. So, first of all, I just give a little bit of uh, glare of the warm light. So how do you, I do that? I just put a little bit of the color in the, in the area where there is a maximum contrast, okay? So a little bit, it's going to be basic in this area, okay? But also here, look, I'm, start from, I'm starting here. Very light. And then I go there and I put just some lines, just very, very light lines. Can you see? It looks nice. You see, just a little bit it shows that uh, it's warm. It's it's warm here. And now I do the same thing here. Look. Let's see if I can do well. Then on the reflections here. Very light. I mean, I try, eh? I try to be very light. Then I hit with uh, my pencil some lines, just some lines. You see? Look. It looks nice. It's starting to look like something uh, not so bad. And what 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 we missing now? Of course, we should put a little bit of uh, I I'll use this um Violet, okay? Then I take again the lighter gray, this one. I, I let it dry, unless it's going to be a mess. I let it dry. So, are you sketching at home? Now we are 21. Sagar, perfect, all right. Okay, now we have a white pencil, this one, white, white, I'm talking about the white, okay, and with the white, we're going to do something really interesting, it's a, we gonna, I'm going to go into the reflections of the glass, and just put a little bit of white in the, in the very light blue areas, okay, and because we are creating a focal point that it's going to be here, I'm not going to put it all over. I'm just going to put it in this area here, okay? Very concentrated. Now I'll show you. Look. Can you see it? You see, where I put the white is a little bit lighter. In 
you know, that's a reflection in the glass. Okay, Marcin. <clears throat> and then I do a back reflection a little bit in this area, just a little there. You see? So we have this feeling of transparency of light that is going in and out, coming out, and stuff like that. Okay, so now you see, I put a little light on this outline here because it really shows the reflection on the on the body color. There is a little highlight there. Okay, so there is one thing I have to do here. This should be darker. Yeah, it works better if it's darker there. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'm going to take again this uh, very light uh, orange and just hit the ground just a little bit because this gives that uh, glare of warm light. You see, very light. I'm barely touching the paper. But it is important because when we do this, after you you'll see it, you will see that it lo really looks like there is the sunlight reflecting here. But you gotta do this really, really light, unless it becomes a mess. Very light. Okay, you ready? I'll show you. I'll uh, inclinate a little bit so that maybe you can see better the color. After I will take a picture of this, don't worry. And I will put it, of course, on Instagram. I will also, I will also use uh, the picture of this sketch for the video. So the, the cover image will be this one. And now there is the last thing to do, which I'm sure you all will love to see, is the highlight with the white gouache because you all love that I know you all put that all those white things and sometimes you exaggerate so today I will show you how we use that in a way that uh, it looks correct and it doesn't look like you are abusing like you are abusing of that. Just a little quick, fast graphics for the, the wheels. So I take a, a dark uh, gray. Where did I put it? It's here.
then I take uh, uh, gray number two, which is this one, gray number two, we always check, it looks nice, and we do the shadow on around the wheel. just here, here, okay, then uh, we wait that it dries, we take uh, this line color that we used on top and we treat those two surfaces uh, in the same way because uh, they are on the same plane, this one and this one, this one and this, and this one, so I do this, okay, here and here and the last thing we're gonna do let it dry <laughs> we just uh, put a little bit of shading we have to do you go what we did on the car we have to do also on those details a little bit not too much but a little bit we must unless it's going to be a mess. So, first of all, clean up lines. And then shading, you see? A little bit to make sure that, uh, that the surface is really turning well. Same thing here. You see, now it looks better. Now it's really, there's really depth into it. What do you think? How does it look? But now we're going to put also our red light and we're going to do it. We're going to do it with this one. What do you think? We're going to use uh, the fluorescent uh, light, not this one, the orange, this one is not nice, with the orange, let's try, yeah. Uh, where did I put the other ones, uh, I wanted to use... Uh, yeah, this one here. Okay. Always a little bit of our orange, okay. And now the last thing, guys, I'm going to take uh, this brush, okay, very light brush, okay, very small, not too big, all right, and I will use the white, white gouache, which is this one, acrylic. Thank you, Fetty. So before I do this, I have to do what I promised to Mohammed. So, Mohammed, let's try to make this cut line, okay? I will do it very, 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 very gently.
I also uh, clean up a little bit the lines and, and shading and stuff if I see that something is a little bit dirty. Okay, so can you see it? I think this is enough. And this one also, we have to clean up a little bit this one. Yeah, now it's better. This detail, it's important. It's much, much better now. This one is much, much better. Okay, so now let's put our lights, highlights, okay? So, wait, I did a mistake. I have to go and clean up my brush okay one minute stay there okay so here i am and uh, what we're gonna do I clean up, of course, you see, to make sure that the, the brush, that the brush is in a very good condition because this means that our, it's okay to use white gel pens instead. No, the gel pen, I hate it. It's, it makes no highlights. It makes bird sheets. So if you want to have bird sheets on your car, use the gel pen. You have to use gouache and a very nice, brush then with the hype of water can we do some of no forget the watercolor we're doing we're doing car design we are not doing artistic uh, painting okay i'm sorry I'm, I'm really straight on that watercolor is for something else i do watercolor i do acrylic also so i know what i'm talking about Okay, so I put the paint and we have to decide which is our focal point. It's going to be here, like that, okay? So, You see, I try to make a, a long white line here. Okay. Now that I did this, all right, I didn't finish yet because there's still some little things that we have to do. Little things. Like, for example, here. Here. very small very very tiny can you see and now now that is kind of dry i just hit a little bit again to make sure that the white is really white Okay, guys, I think this is done. Huh? To be honest, I, I believe that this is pretty good. I mean, for what we had to do, um, I just want to verify, to check one thing here. This one should be more like that, okay? Now that 
we can start seeing all, we can see also the mistakes. That's no big deal. We can fix that very easy. Okay. All right. So let's put. Let's sign. So today it's uh, zero nine. Zero four. 18 okay and then of course we had to write our our hashtag I forgot sketch review was well, same thing no problem Instagram All right, so Just little retouch okay just to make sure that it looks really good and very very shiny so black should be a little bit black more black all right you see i'm putting a little bit uh, heavier black where we need a little bit better contrast so that is more shiny okay guys so i think that is done And uh, and uh, wait just a second that I, I clean up a little bit and then I, I take again the support for to change the perspective. Okay, so I open up here and I do this. Uh, wait a second, we do that, okay, so here we are back, here we are, we are again, so I'm going to take uh, this sketch, you see, that's what we did, you know, at the end it's not so, it, it is not so bad, I would say that, uh, okay, it took some time because I'm explaining and stuff. Of course, it would take less time if I were if I were just alone, uh, working on my own. But the most important thing is that if you really understood what I did and why I did it and how I did it, the most important thing is the steps. So we started from this uh, quick sketch that I made this weekend. All right, without you. And from this sketch, we, we traced it to change its design and make a, a mixed media color sketch until using the highlights with the white acrylic. And we went from this one to this one. Okay. So I really hope that, uh, that you are happy with this one. I, I'm kind of satisfied. It's not so bad. And what about the mirror? No mirrors, forget it, mirrors. Who cares, mirrors? I already said this. We don't put mirrors on, on I mean, we are all working on little cameras, small like that, uh, that are hidden on the exterior design, not to have mirrors. You talk about the mirrors. Okay, Mohamed, I hope you understood. Mohamed, I am on Facebook. Of course I am. Luciano Bove, car designer, check it out. 
The, you can find also, I have three pages. I have uh, Luciano Bove Card Designer, then I have the page uh, LB Card Design Education Tips, which is my website on Facebook, where I put also those videos and, and, uh, and all the information. All right, so you can go and check it out and click like, uh, okay, I want you uh, that uh, you have to become, uh, you have to be with our club. Next one, no, no, next one is going to be Wednesday, okay, this Wednesday, so not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, all right, and we will do something else, and uh, as you can see, every day, we, every time we are together, we will invent something to do. The most important thing is that you understand that you see and you repeat at home, all right? Use the hashtag Luciano Bava Sketch Review, Instagram, but also on Facebook, okay? I saw that one of you already did. I think it's Marcin that did it already. Let's use the same hashtag, Instagram and Facebook. Hashtag Luciano Bove Sketch Review. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Ciao. E grazie.